morning. So today we're going to start with the warm-up two of the home workout series. So here we go. We're going to need today for the workout a small towel, not too big. Doesn't need to be too clean. It can be a, a cloth. We need um, a broomstick, a chair, and maybe two cushions. So we're going to start on the ground. We're going to need to work today to start with on this joint, the toes joint. Some people are not really flexible in their toes, and that's the first thing that lands wherever you run, you skate. You also skate, you need to be able to push when you jog, when you go lateral. So we need to work on that first articulation, which are the toes moving. The way we're going to do it, so we're going to go on our four, okay? And we're gonna tuck our toes right under ourselves here on both feet, okay? We go on all four, we open our fingers, grip the ground, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, you push up into your shoulder, tuck your shin, flat back, engage your core right here. And all you're gonna do is really tuck it in, those toes, sit back, and forward. We're going to do that 10 times, holding three seconds each. Really trying to stretch those feet and down. So you can go in, move your foot towards that big toe, outward. Hey, good, good. There's a little kitten, Minette, we called her. Out and keep going. She's not happy today, she wants to go outside. She might meow a little bit, we'll see. And keep going for 10, three seconds. Hold, move your feet, move feet in, out. Stretch in, out. Few more, in, out, good. Feet over that toe, on the big toe. Small toe, good, all right, that's very nice. Next, on all four again, open those fingers, wrist under shoulder, knees under hips, tuck your toes in, you're gonna go up, two, three, four, five, and down, okay? So five like that, here we go, and up, two, three, four, five, down. And I want you to contract that lower abs, TVA, that all here need to feel that. Tuck yourself under, tuck your hips under. Here we go. Breathe in, pushing your shoulders up. Squeeze the low, lower abs. Get, and down. And up, squeeze the lower abs to double chin. And down. Up. Squeeze, squeeze, lower abs, lower abs, and down. And again, up, three, and down. That's it for five. Now lying on your back, your arms are gonna be at 45 degree angles, your hands open, like this. You are going to be 90 degrees here, arms, shoulders on the ground. You're gonna go on one side, and then the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. And I want you to keep those lower abs engaged. Don't be arching that back. Keep it tight. Okay, so I repeat. I don't want to see this big space. Complement the space, keep that space. And here, oh. Eight on each side. Four, four. Abs tight. Shoulders on the ground. Six, six, seven, seven, and eight, and eight. Very nice. Now, Scorpions, same thing again. Arms are wide open, fingers wide open. We go here, legs straight, we go up and across, okay? Keeping your shoulders down, up and across. Two, three, 
two, we go for eight, and across. Okay, go sideways. Up, three, three. So, four, four. Try to keep those shoulders down as you rotate. The lower body, upper body stays straight. Five. Eight, seven, eight, eight. Whew, starting to get warm. Hope so. Now, scorpion on your belly. Open those hands. We're going to look where the foot is going. Turn your head, other side. Look where you're going. Go eight, eight, two, three, three, four, and we breathe. Four, never stop breathing. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Finally. On the ground still, on your knees, squeeze your butt, down and up. We go for 15, squeeze your back, full body on the ground, squeeze your butt. 15, seven, eight, squeeze, nine, 10, 11, head in line, 12, 13, 14, 15, super. A little breather. Now you're gonna need your broomstick. So let's take that broomstick. I repeat again, I did it yesterday. Warm up. We need to have one hand in the lower part. Don't grab like this, it's gonna to make too big of an arch. Right on top. And one hand at the neck level. So we really need to stretch that upper hand. Not here, here. Is that clear? Yes. So if this hand is up, it's the opposite leg that's gonna be working. Feet straight, super important. Leg straight and down. Down for eight. Make sure you're not turning that upper. Make sure that the head, shoulder blades, tailbone are always touching the stick. Otherwise, you are not in line. Okay? Abs tight. Hand in your neck. Here we go. For eight. One. Two. Here. I'm gonna press with my big toe. Don't forget, push the knee out. Big toe. Knee out. Big toe. This leg is straight. Seven. Eight. Switch. Lower back. In the neck. At the neck, in line, speed straight, and big toe. Watch your alignment. Remember, I don't want to see this. Okay, it's not this. If you feel a great stretch in your hip, in your adductors, it's not the right movement. Load the leg, load the leg, load the leg. Now, if I had a, that would stay straight. Now it's coming here, straight. Okay, straight, six, seven, and eight, nice, split squat, same thing again, one hand on your low back, one hand in your neck, opposite, uh, top hand, leg forward, opposite, you're going to go down and up, down, and up. Making sure I have that 90 degrees. Up, down, up, down, side, six, seven, and eight. Change everything. Low back in the neck. Stretch that shoulder. 90, 90. Up, down, 
did that yesterday for as a workout. Again, low back, in the neck, that leg on the ground is opposite to the top leg. Just when we are running here, same thing. I'm gonna go a little bit. Keep the three points of contact, the head, between the shoulder blades and the tailbone. I don't want to see this. If you bend the upper too early, you're going to lose that tailbone. Hinge at the hips. And eight. Switch everything. Now I'm going on this leg. The opposite hand is up. At the neck. Don't be lazy. Put the hand at the neck. Makes it that much harder because you are in a stretched position. This feet, torsiflexion. And eight. So that completes warm up number two. See you for this next section.